Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Um, I thought I'd just jump on. We are at the new moon in Scorpio. So um, these energies have been building and uh, well, new moon being the lowest peak of energy flow. So they've been sort of cascading out, we can say it, um, but it's been pretty interesting, pretty intense. Um, uh, I can say at least for myself, I have a lot of Scorpio in my chart relatively and it's all relative, but um, I've definitely been feeling these energies very strong sort of, um, you know, energies associated with the concept of even purging, you know, really very clearly identifying what it is that also just no longer works and no longer um, empowers and, and, and guides us in that relationship with ourselves ultimately, right? Where we say, well, I know that I'm doing what is best for me to be able to then reflectively offer the best also for others. So, you know, sometimes, um, you know, we think, well, that magnet, the magnet, magnetism associated with Scorpio, that really passionate energy, you know, how do we sort of um, integrate that in our relations with others? You know, I really find that it first relies um, on the spectrum of how we in engage that energy space um, and integrate it with our highest, uh, our, our higher self and our highest vision associated with that space. So, you know, there is this like le these levels to how we also energize our vision. And um, I was just coming through. So, but there are so many aspects to it, right? We, we are, um, uh, in every moment sort of engaging our will and our so-called power and our influence and um, you know in, in, in what ways do we struggle with that concept where we say I just kind of give my power away or I just you know you know I sort of put it on the so-called back burner I, I wait for so-called destiny as well to take this over uh, for me you know being super aware of every scenario in which we are engaging our will I'm hearing it in this way um, can can be a really strong focus when we're thinking about the archetype of Scorpio um, and so I've just been honestly getting rid of so much stuff, like things that I thought I'd never get rid of. Like truly, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like a part of me. And oh my gosh, this is, you know, s s somehow, you know, <laughs> related to me on this deep level. And it's like, okay, at what point does that thought paradigm sort of, um, s s kind of hold in such an outdated um, manner compared to the the benefit that it really truly does bring you um, when it when it comes to that that balance that we strike on the note of balance of of highest I'm hearing vibration of mind body soul so you know we can say well I resonate with this or I think this is cool but you know at what point do we really look at whatever that space is it could be a thought it could be a physical object it could be um, an experience that you know you somehow hold the memory space you know what truly does that offer me and um, you know because that's a decision right when we sort of place whatever that is in our aura even right where we say I'm consciously allowing this to remain in my in my environment and we talked about this concept big time in the Pluto Scorpio um, uh, retrograde reading. So, um, you know, the Pluto retrograde reading for Scorpio, and that was a pretty intense reading. I posted that again, actually, on the channel. So if you guys feel guided. Um, but hello, uh, Nyora, thank you for your donation that you're tuning in. Yeah, so it's been... Um, pretty, pretty intense. You know, there are these moments where we say, oh my gosh, like it's really hard to do that one thing. It's really hard to like, let go of that one thing. It's really hard to say uh, it no longer resonates, even just to, to acknowledge it sometimes can be hard. Um, but sometimes that's exactly what we need to do. Um, because you know, where we sort of shy away from what we honestly feel, um, we sort of kind of, again, we give ourselves to that space in a way that is not authentic. Um, and so it can be kind of draining. And you know, this is a very intense uh, period where it's not just like today, November 15th, what's going down. It's, um, it's really the buildup of what maybe even has been and what has been lingering and what has been lurking. And, um, so it is a, you know, a detoxification period. We have a lot of planets here of retrograde, not only Pluto, not only Mars, both rulers of Scorpio. We also got Saturn, Uranus, um, and they are in post shadow, but I find that we are still sort of taking that class. So called, <laughs> we're still working those energies in retrograde. So, um, yes, yeah, still working those energies in retrograde. Okay. Let me look at the comments real quick here. Yes. So, you know, and you might find that it just becomes this um, overwhelming sense of clarity where it's like, okay, and then that can feel kind of intense because it juxtaposes possibly in some way, um, you know, what we've sort of been doing about whatever that, that feeling is that may have been building. So let's say you've been feeling something, right? You're like, well, you know, come, 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 come back, uh, you know, over and again to this concept where I say, well, I don't really know if that really serves me. And then we kind of put it on the back burner, right? At a certain point, um, the fire builds, the fire builds and, and it becomes so clear. And then it's like epiphany moment where it's like, oh my gosh, it's so obvious. Okay. 
It's like, so now what am I going to do about it? And so, you know, you know, don't be afraid to be at that crossroads where you realize things are, um, you know, kind of becoming more, more important as you might feel it as well to address where you're like, well, before, you know, I didn't, it wasn't really like a make or break sort of thing. And I, I kind of said, well, I don't need to make an executive decision on that quite yet. You know, and then you realize like, well, whoa, whoa. <laughs> When it comes to also my emotional values, I realize that I need to prioritize that. That one little decision that I said wasn't important. That could be still kind of in the in the in the back uh, the back end of our subconscious and playing playing a sort of um you know story um you know on its own. I don't know what that was going to. So you might also want to clear your environment, your actual your environment, like sage it down, you know, whatever you feel you need to do to, um, you know, kind of set that tone and frequency that you really consciously set. So thank you guys for tuning in to the light too. Hopefully we'll do some, possibly do some readings later tonight, um, in celebration. We'll see though, you know, go with the flow and, um, you know, this is the time where, you know, the new moon is really favorable for, introspecting and kind of seeing what is, um, at play, not really so much asserting or expressing, which we see, you know, it always depends, but, and it depends on how you choose to channel the energy, but, um, you know, it's wonderful for s sort of, um, observing what, uh, is, is coming up for review. Love and light to you guys. Enjoy this period. And I'll see